Hello and welcome to this session techies. My name is Yogesh Kumar. In this session we are going to talk about performing vStorage management on KVM hypervisors. Friends, uh, many organizations use uh, KVM as their virtualization hypervisor. And as a system engineer, you guys are maintaining that particular KVM stack or uh, I can say KVM host and KVM virtual machines. And uh, there are a couple of tasks which we perform regularly. I have listed a uh, few of those, uh, like uh, we are allocating new disk drives to KVM guys. We are resizing the existing allocated disk drives. Or sometimes we detach and delete the existing allocated drives. So I just thought to demonstrate how we can uh, do the aforementioned operations using QEMU image utility because I have seen many times system admins use DD to create uh, new disk images but personally I don't uh, feel that DD is uh, best utility to manage uh, KVM virtual image files because the utility QMO dash image that got a uh, couple of benefits over DD I have listed benefit they are QMO image uh, create sparse file what it mean uh, your disk space is not allocated immediately the amount of space you utilize on that uh, particular image inside the guest OS that amount will be utilized or consumed at the image level on hypervisor so that's a great benefit other thing uh, because with QME image uh, images can be modified for example if you want to resize the disk without destroying the data you can do it and on other place if you use DD for this purpose DD is going to destroy your existing data so you can see this utility got uh, more benefits than DD next thing uh, QME image can handle all type images which are supported by QME. Okay. A one recommendation friends whenever you are performing any disk modification operation let's say you are resizing the drive so recommendation is to power off your uh, guest machine because sometime we have seen uh, there was uh, data corruption on the disk drive so that's a recommendation okay in lab setup today we are going to use uh, KVM data store which is KVM store and new image would be test vm one dash app disk one dot image that would be on hypervisor or you can say kvm host and inside the guest operating system image name or uh, disk drive name is going to be vdb okay then uh, we are going to use test vm one which is a uh, kvm guest for demonstration purpose and friends uh, these are the commands which i'm going to use today i'm going to manage uh, this with qm image command with the create minus f, f mean format, I'm saying row, and uh, this is the image name, like which will get created, and this is the size. After that, uh, I'm going to attach this particular image, or you can say virtual disk now, to the guest VM. In this case, this is the guest VM, and I'm saying source, source mean what is the exact path and uh, image name, which is going to be attached to KVM guest and uh, this is target target is like what will be device letter or drive letter on the guest operating system I'm saying attach it as VDB dash dash persistent mean uh, this is persistent after reboot uh, this disk will be attached or visible okay next task if you have to resize existing image as I mentioned uh, you can stop your KVM guest then do this operation so what I'm doing the same disk which I created earlier size was 200 MB if you see here I'm just resizing it by another 300 MB so the new size is going to be 500 MB next thing I'm just demonstrating how you can detach drive from guest VM so this is the command voice detach disk VM and the drive name so let's begin technical session friends where I can demonstrate how these things works okay friends uh, this is my KVM host which is my hypervisor and I got uh, two VMs running. Let me show you. Wash list dash dash show. 
So I got four VMs, two are running, two are powered off. So as in demo on this particular VM test VM1, I'm going to attach one drive. So let's verify uh, how many disks are visible inside OS. I got Ansible, so I'm going to use Ansible to check whether uh, disks are attached, how many disks are attached using shell module. And I'm saying run command L S B L K and grab for over disk and run it on this is the IP address of my target machine my target VM so let's see what it says it is saying LSBLK okay it's type of ends so command is LSBLK I typed incorrectly let's correct my mistake okay if you see right now only one drive is there VDA which is default OS drive size is 4 GB so let's uh, create and allocate uh, one new drive to this particular VM okay so friends uh, let me show you this is my KVM data store right now it got uh, these files so what I'm going to do I'm just going to create uh, one new image QMO create minus F format is raw and this is the VM so I'm just using convention so you can easily identify for which VM this particular file is created so test VM1 I'm just uh, adding prefix for identification and then I'm adding purpose of this disk I'm saying this is app disk 1 dot img is image size is 200 MB so if you see uh, it created the drive let's verify this drive okay if I did ls minus l if you see it is showing 200 MB right uh, but uh, as I mentioned this is a sparse file so how you can check du minus sh and the file name if you see actual usage is zero means nothing is used it's a empty file so that's a beauty of using qmu image command okay next thing let's let's attach this particular drive to kvm guest so wash attach disk this is the vm name to which this disk is going to be attached you can say disk or image and source this is the source image we just created uh, recently and target target mean on uh, target side on this VM what would be device name I'm saying VDB and this is going to be persistent pressing enter if you see disk attached successfully so let's verify whether disk is visible inside uh, guest or not I'm running same command which I okay if you see friends uh, VDB is attached now earlier is there was only VDA and size is 200 MB so that's a way you can create and attach this drives to your guest instance or uh, guest VM or guest KVM there are multiple words for same thing now as I mentioned if you have to resize this particular drive how you can do it uh, one thing which I mentioned uh, it's always recommended to power of your uh, guest VM before performing modifications so let me power off my VM even I know like without powering off this will work because there is no file system created on uh, the particular new drive so it should go fine but again I'm following recommendation so I'm saying wash stop the VM which is test VM1 I'm getting error wash shut down sorry shut down test VM1 okay so it is getting down let's wait uh, for this VM to get down okay friends if you see uh, the guest VM is down now to resize a drive friends uh, again I'm using QMU utility QMU image resize this is the path of uh, image file and I'm saying plus 300 MB so current size was 200 MB if you see here 200 MB I'm just saying make it uh, 500 MB by adding uh, 300 MB so pressing enter if you see image resized let me power on the VM now and uh, we can verify inside guest OS whether new size is visible or not just saying start so it may take a uh, couple of minutes to come up I'm pausing this video for that time let's verify the state of target VM now whether it's up or still booting okay it's running so let's uh, retry our command
okay if you see friends uh, now size is 500 MB which was 200 MB before so this is a way to resize the volume and uh, let's take a scenario where you have to delete uh, the drive so before deleting a drive uh, you have to make sure that that particular drive is not used by any volume manager or as a raw device in your database or uh, there might be multiple scenarios maybe it is directly mounted so once you are sure that drive is not used anywhere so simply you can detach it from uh, your hypervisor so the way is uh, wash detach disk test vm1 vdb so if you see it detached successfully we can verify whether it got detached or not if you see now only VDA is available this drive is detached if you have to reattach this drive you can simply reattach and your data will be there if you don't need this drive anymore you can simply delete that drive so this was the image file right I'm simply saying RM this one saying yes so it's deleted so in this video we have covered how to create uh, your uh, QMU image file then how to attach that file as it is drive how to resize drive how to detach that drive and delete that drive so if you have any query or question you can leave a comment on my youtube channel thanks for watching this video friends